Welcome back to my channel, guys. My name is Raggy Rog, and today I am bringing you Fakemon Maker. So if you've been following my channel or you've just been around the internet for a while, you're probably familiar that there is a Pokemon Fusion Generator, and we've visited that a few times and done some pretty fun stuff with it. Usually when I use that generator, I'm trying to go with like a theme. I want to make like a scary looking Pokemon, or I want to make a cute looking Pokemon. But on the same website where I do all of that, there's also a Fakemon maker, and it's a little more in-depth. So if you want to try and make a very specific looking kind of Pokemon, you can take the face, body, wings, hands, all the different unique parts of a whole bunch of different Pokemon and put them together and try to make something completely unique. So just for fun today, I thought we would have a look at this, see what we can't make with no particular theme theme in mind. It's just going to be a bit of fun and we're going to see what we can't make. So it's a bit it's a bit overwhelming just to look at, but the idea is you pick a Pokemon. So right out of the gate, we're just going to pick Arcanine and then it gives you the options of what you can choose from that. So you have to start with a body. So we're going to use the body of Arcanine. And there you go. Uh, I, you also hit the color button here if you want to like match the color of that Pokemon. And then it will just kind of like take the whole color scheme of that Pokemon and project it onto the entire creation of what you make. So we've got the body of Arcanine. And I think that's a pretty good template to start with. But then we're going to go like in a totally different direction, and we're going to go with Feraligator. I'm going to try and make something that looks cohesive. I, I want to try and avoid making something that looks weird and contrived, but we're going to see what we can't do. So we're going to use the face of Feraligator, and that's already working pretty well. I'm going to keep this color scheme for now. But let's see where we go from here, because now we have to add a, a tail and the hands and the feet. And it's a, it's interesting because you have to be kind of smart about it. Like, initially I thought maybe I should use like a fighting type Pokemon's hands, because, you know, they're very prominent looking hands, I guess. But this is a quadruped-like creature, so I want to be kind of smart about it. So I think I'm going to give this guy like different front and back legs. And I'm going to give him... I'm going to give, try and give him like kind of dainty looking front feet. So I'm thinking nine tails. I can't, oh yeah, because it's all feet, front and back legs. So we're going to do front left and front right. Yeah, okay, so that didn't actually change it all that much. But we'll see where we go from here anyway. So... The legs are different from Arcanine's now anyway, and that's all I really wanted. And I want to do like a total like 180 on the back legs. Like he's still very much a quadruped. I'm thinking, what about like, because I know Breloom has like kind of like a kangaroo-like body, but I cannot use his feet. Okay, so there's some pretty like stringent restrictions here, which is understandable. What if we go with Kangaskhan? Okay, we can use Kangaskhan's feet. Not really like a kangaroo, but we'll see. Okay, that looks weird, and I do not like it. I'm going to try something totally different again. What if we go with Politoed? Okay. Whether this looks good or bad, I'm just going to stick with it. Okay, so this has actually gone ahead and changed all of his f limbs. Like, okay. Alright, I'm going to have to figure this out, but it has changed front and back legs, but I'm going to kind of stick with it. Yeah, because this actually doesn't look terrible. It's creepy weird because he's got like individual like frog toes now, but I'm kind of into it. So now we get on to like the more fun stuff where we can like kind of pick a tail and if we want we can give him some wings and I figure let's just go all the way with it, right? Let's give him everything that we possibly can. So we got to think of a good tail and I'm thinking Tauros has a pretty unique tail. 
So let's go with that. You know, that's... That's not as good as I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be kind of longer. But I wanted to have like like a skinny, like... Almost like a devil tail, I guess. And I can't think of any Pokemon offhand who have anything similar right away. So I think we're just going to stick with this. But are we going to give him some wings? I'm. I wonder. We're not gonna. We're, go we're not gonna stick with this. But I just want to see if you can use like Bulbasaur's bulb. Okay. So no, that's totally like just a part of Bulbasaur's body. So we need a Pokemon with wings. So like the f the first one that springs to mind is Skarmory. So we're gonna try and mix Skarmory with this guy. I feel like it's not gonna look great. Um, that's not too bad. What if we change the color? That's, it is really unique looking, I gotta say. is This is not the color I'm gonna stick with, nor are these the wings. We're gonna, I feel like we need like really big wings. So maybe like, Ho-Oh, Ho-Dash-Oh, there we go. So we're gonna use his wings. Okay, so it kind of scales the wings down a little bit. But you know what? I don't hate this. So I think I'm going to keep these wings. We're going to match the color for Ho-Oh. That works really well. But we're going to use like a totally different Pokemon to get our colors from. Just so... Because when you look at that, it's like, oh, those are obviously Ho-Oh's wings. And I feel like if we change the color completely, just use a totally different Pokemon, the illusion will be like truly truly there. So we're going to go with... Who's like a unique looking Pokemon? Lunala has a really unique like color scheme, I think. So we're going to color match Lunala. Um, That could just be like the shiny form of the one we were just on. I don't like this though. We'll try like one more. And I think it's, it's a bit of a rick risk, I think, but we're going to go with Uzi. Uxi? I don't know how to say his name. Um, okay, that's kind of similar to the one we had a couple of colors, color schemes ago. But, there you go! Okay, so there is our first creation in Fakemon Maker. We... It looks pretty cool, and if you didn't know any better, you would probably just assume this is like a unique Pokemon. If you didn't know any better. Obviously, if the colors were more matching, you'd assume that is obviously the body of Arcanine, or these are the wings of Ho-Oh. But the fact that you can change the color, I think, is what makes this really work. So, we're gonna do this again. We're gonna do one more quick one, but we're gonna do like a little theme. Okay, so we're going to do a little theme with this one. We're gonna get through it really, really quickly, but I want to see if we can make, like, just the most aquatic-looking Pokemon ever. So, not necessarily has to be made of water-type Pokemon, but we are going to be making something that appears aquatic. So, and I... When you think of aquatic Pokemon, you definitely... Like, definitely think of a fish or something. So I'm gonna lead with, like, the most deep ocean fish there is, is Kyogre, right? So we're gonna use his body, and I don't know if this is gonna be a good template or not. But that's a pretty that's pretty solid. That's pretty aquatic looking. Can't even deny. And we are going to I already know what I'm gonna use for the tail. We are going to use Vaporeon's tail because it's like this the Vaporeon has the most fish like tail. He his tail looks more like a fish than any fish Pokemon, which is saying something, because there's a lot. That's perfect. I love that. Okay. Now we gotta get something like with a super aquatic face. And again, it doesn't have to be a water type, but I feel like that's just going to be what I'm leaning on here. We are going to go with... Because I'm trying to think of like other things you see in the ocean. What if we go with like a crustacean or something? What if we go with like... Crawdaunt? We're going to use his face. And he's got the star on his face, right? So that, that kind of works. But we're not going to get the star. But this still works. I like it. Okay, it almost looks like they put his face on upside down. <laughs> no, but this is working. I like it. I'm happy with it. In keeping with that, 
I think we need some big pincer claws, but we're not going to use Crota on to second time. So obviously the progression from here is to go with Kingler. Okay, that's uh, that's kind of distracting. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm sorry. We're going to do something other than Kingler. What if we go with Dugong? Dugong... Okay, I was hoping that Dugong's, like, flippers would be considered hands. But I guess not. We, I really want to get that part done. We're going to go with Seeking. Okay, so his little front flippers do count as hands, apparently. That's a weird double standard. And I don't like that. That looks weird. It doesn't look like fins. I'm just going to keep going until I find someone with the right fins. Magikarp. Can't use his fins. <laughs> Jeez, okay. I'm starting to think we might just have to go without the fins, hey? So we'll just remove those for now. For now, we will remove them. And we'll just move on with something else. I'm going to use Magirna. And you know what? I th I'm going to let that be his hands. Magirna's hands, because they none of the fish Pokemon's hands seem to work, and this is the closest we're probably going to get. Should he have feet? Probably not. I am going to look at one more fish type Pokemon though, and that is Luminion. Because that's just a really aquatic looking fish right there. I'm thinking, I'm wondering if the fins are going to be covered by the back feet or not. It's real. It's a real gray area. Okay, nothing happened. So I'm guessing that on Kyogre's body you just can't get front or back feet, which is a kind of a shame. I actually want to use... Oh, and you can't use his Lumineon's body for front hands either. Okay. Well, that at least means we can use... Okay, that's a pretty cool color scheme. It, I feel like we got to stay true to the blue. I'm thinking, what about Squirtle? Because I'm just looking for a color scheme now, and that might just bring it all together. Nope! don't like that. Okay. Caracosta. Caracosta has, like, a beautiful color scheme, in my opinion. And that's kind of perfect. Okay, there it is. The most aquatic Pokemon I could come up with on the fly. So there it is. This is Fakemon Maker. If you want to try this app out yourself, this program, whatever, you can find a link to it in the description down below. That's all the time we have for in this video today, but if you enjoyed this content, then please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon as well so you can get instant updates anytime there's a new upload, and then you don't have to miss out on this brilliant content that I know you can't just wait for. <laughs> in any case, thank you very much for watching. My name is Raggy Rog. I'll see you next time.